Today, we, we, who's we? Are going to recreate the International Space Station in Space Flight Simulator to the best of our ability with the tools we have. Should we build it in realistic mode or regular mode? So if we wanted to go realistically, how many launches to build the ISS? Okay, 42, we're not doing that. <laughs> we could do it in 41. Okay, it's a yes. We're gonna do it in realistic mode. If you're watching on YouTube and you wanna see this live, click the link in the description, to go over to the Twitch and follow, and it'll notify you when we go live. This is a challenging game that requires patience and perseverance. That's new. When did they do that? Rocket science is hard. Don't give up. Keep trying and you will succeed. Freaking go. Okay, anyway. Since we're doing realistic mode, we can try to get the orbit accurate to real life. So that central module, that middle part, I think we want to set up first. We need like a really long piece, really, really long, the entire middle piece, and then put docking ports. And then we need that kind of top piece that's poking out and the bottom piece. We're going to want it to be mostly empty of fuel because there's not like a habitation like crew module in the game. They're not very big. Got no ISS. Bro, we just, we just started. Not big enough. I, okay, okay, this is me planning it out. Calm the freak down. I had wheels to make windows. It looks cool. Like inside it, clipping in. That, I mean, that don't, that don't look like windows. Quick break chip, promoter or site. Spaceshipyt.com. And then we'll put RCS on the sides of it. So we can have some control over it. I think this is good. Anything else we should add for this? center module. This is our first launch. If we do one module per launch, we could do one, two, three, four, five launches total. That doesn't sound too bad. Make oh it bigger. God. That That's pretty big, dude. It's four meters in height, which is tall enough to walk in. So yeah, that's good. It's average. <laughs> now we need to figure out how to get this into space. And then I think we could just dock this onto some kind of engine, like our orbital engine, eight wide. I did kind of forget how hard realistic mode is. We're gonna need a lot to get this up there. United States. United, United. <laughs> if it's already thrust away 1.01, that's really good. Cause that means just these engines can lift off with this, which makes me think we only actually need one engine here. We'll keep that. That looks good to me. So then we need Probably two launch stages. So one to get us like just reaching space and then one to push us partly into orbit and then this will finish it. So two of these with higher thrust and then one final launch stage, which is gonna be big. Making a rocket IRL stream wed. Uh, like a model rocket, dude. I can't do, a, do the, um, put the Mento in the Diet Coke, turn it upside down. I could do that. Maybe get to orbit. You missed the top. Oh, no! Now, throwing on some side boosters. If this works, this will make it a lot easier because then all we have to do in the future is reset, like go back to building mode after we put this in orbit and then we build the next part, like over here or whatever, and just put it inside of here and launch it up and dock them together. This probably won't make it to launch. I don't know why none of you ever believe in me. Three, two, one, go. Go. Oh, it's so loud. Okay, what broke? Why isn't it launching? Okay, it took off finally. I think our th thrust to weight was a little low. Okay, we are, yeah. We're about halfway to space. This is going good. Okay, we're out of fuel here. So these will break off, but that wasn't actually attached correctly. So this is all one piece. We'll fix that in the future. But for now, we're just gonna burn to orbit. Okay, so we're waiting now for this to hit 400. Perfect, dude. Okay, then we just time warp over here go a little ways before over here turn around and then raise the other side let's go chip yeah let's go all right raise the other side do 400 and then we will be even all right that's close enough the iss isn't perfectly circular either so there's our height 
Now we want to undock this. You know what? I'm going to leave this docked for an emergency scenario if we absolutely need fuel for some reason. But I guess we can open solar panels. So if we look at the picture again, those bottom six solar panels are supposed to be those white things in the middle. And then we're going to add on those giant solar panels next, I think, putting those on the sides here. One here with the solar panels, they'll be like right here. And then one here going out. This actually isn't going to be as bad as I thought. I thought realistic mode was going to be like a curse. And I was going to sit here for six hours trying to do this. But that's our rocket. And then we can all just delete that. So we know this is enough. We might be able to build both of those solar panel things in one launch. So let's just build one right now. It looks like it's using structural parts. It has some solar panels coming like out towards the camera, but we can't do that. We are going to want some fuel to be able to dock. This is the point where it's going to dock with the station and then have structural pieces coming out. And for looks, maybe we could do something like this to kind of make it look like they're connected. I think that looks cool. And then for the solar panels. Okay, so how do we feel about this module? So this is supposed to be those outside pieces. So it'll connect to the intersection and be sort of like this. Sitting on the outside of the station. The one thing I kind of am a little worried about would be docking these. If we can get it close enough to the ISS central pod that we built, then we can use the RCS on that. Does someone know? I'm pretty sure, but if the fuel tank's here, can these RCS engines still work? I see no and yes. A quick test of RCS. Okay, they do work. Good. So for launch, just throw a big docking port here and then have this be docked like this, and then this one docked like this for launch, and then we'll undock and orient them in orbit. Okay, no probe. Um, we want each of these to have a probe. We just clip them in so that we can control them independently. All right, so if we look on the map, here is the ISS currently. So we should probably wait till it's here to launch to try to get docking better. Here, we're gonna switch to this and we're gonna time warp to about there. You think the editor likes call outs? I think, I think, yeah. <laughs> Cause he's watching this whole VOD, yeah. Hello, I'm gonna say hi to my editor. Thank you for editing all the videos. You do such a great job. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall for real. <laughs> you guys are supposed to know about him. Right here. Who are you? I am just a figment of your imagination. Uh, all right, I think we're ready to launch. Four, three, two, one, go. Titan engine. Okay, I figured out the issue with the burning thing. It's, I doubled up engines because of the symmetry. We'll fix that next time. Also, we need to fix this where our thrust to weight is a little bit too low for a second. It needs a moment to think about its life choices before it launches. Yeah, apparently. Okay, this might actually make it. We don't have enough thrust, guys. Yeah, look, we're not even up in the sky. We need extra thrust. So if last time was almost perfect, we should just combine these and have them be touching. So we have the combined fuel and then put also side boosters to get us off the ground and that'll fix all our problems. Don't give up, angle the rocket. It's not, the problem is this is about to run out. Like we're not even going up enough. I'll give it a chance. We'll give it a chance, okay? Boosting up. On the next launch though, we'll fix it. So don't end, not yet. I don't think we're making it, but actually you never know. Like you never know. It's possible. Cause we got, I guess we got sideways velocity quicker. And now that we're out of the atmosphere, you never know. It's literally impossible, just give up. You would say that, because you voted against me. We'll try it. No, we're not making it. Uh, sorry guys. So all we're gonna change is combine these because that actually worked last time. And then these have two engines on it. See, that was the problem. I just don't want this engine to burn this part. And then to get us off the ground, cause we're at 0.93, we're gonna add 
Uh, we'll get rid of these. We'll add side boosters onto this. And then we don't have to worry about these running out first because they're all combined anyway. And yeah, that puts us above one. Perfect. Ignition. All right. Three, two, one, launch. And immediately launches this time. Already much better. I think this is a good enough engineered rocket that we can use it for the rest of the pieces to add, which will be maybe just one more launch because we have the two side pieces and then we just need the two top and bottom pieces. So we're kind of almost done. Okay, this is already looking a lot better than the last attempt. Side boosters, break. Perfect. All right, looking good. Come on, make the one mistake, I hope. <laughs> I make no mistakes. I've never, I've actually never messed up in any game ever, so. Really? Yeah, yeah, are you sure? Yes, 100%. Editor, roll the clips, <laughs> dude. No, I don't make any mistakes. Anytime I messed up, it was on purpose to help the, to help the chip because if I if I got it every time, then the the gambling scene would be ruined. The odds would be ruined. So I have to make it interesting. It's never my it's never on accident. All right, looking good here. Pushing into space. Okay, relative velocity. We need to cancel that. Oh, we can break the fairing off, but I don't want it to smash it. Okay, we are coming up on it fast. Don't worry. Oh! Okay. Ignore that. That's probably fine. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Let's stop. Okay, we lost some solar panels. <laughs> we'll keep it going. Uh, <laughs> My bad. Oh, it's right there. All right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ain't no way you can reset it now. That counts as a fail? No. The parts are still there. So now undock here and then maneuver over to it. The ISS is undergoing maintenance on those specific solar panels, those four specifically. And it is not for any other reason that they are missing. Uh, I do not want to hear you guys talking about this because the, uh, the taxpayers are not going to be happy. All right, so we got that one. Now we can dock this one. All right. Yeah, get that in there. Okay. And then we'll bring out the ones that are currently not in main maintenance. You know, it gives it more character, I think. Does that look like the ISS chat? You can see the vision. We're getting there. Now we're just going to add the top and bottom sections and then we're done. We're going to delete all of this. So we need the top section. It kind of goes like this and then have it curve out and then it curves back again. And then it does go out a little bit on the other side. All right. And then all of these need to be empty and silver. Um, and then it sort of has like a pointy kind of thing on the top. I guess we could put a probe there and like that to get that top section. And I feel like these need something. So we'll put a little bit of fuel in here just to have RCS. Problem is this is unbalanced, which I'm a little worried about, but it, I, I think it's probably gonna be fine. The bottom section that sort of is like straight out and then it does have solar panels, but they're like smaller. And then what's that little thing on the bottom there? It looks almost like a probe. To add that, maybe we do this. Do we think that the weight is gonna be too unbalanced? Just make it symmetrical on the other side and undock once you're up there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Roll that on there. And then there's not going to be a fairing big enough, is there? I mean, just having any fairing, like that'll still help with the aerodynamics. Before we launch, I want to make sure this can break off. Yeah, it can. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, we're going to time warp through this one because we've seen launches. We're lined up, so we're gonna break this off now. Okay, what was that? Why did it break this? That's a fail? Well, okay, hear me out, everybody. It's not a fail. I could keep it like this and dock it, but then the station would just be uglier. How many of you are opposed to just letting me revert 30 seconds to get it back? This isn't a fail. If you say no, I'm just gonna leave it and dock it. Oh, okay, pause it then. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yes, one, barely, barely yes, one by two votes. All right, 
So how do I make it not break? Okay, it worked that time. So I don't know. It was like a bug or something. It's not even my fault. You better not crash, buddy. I got this. I got this. Don't even worry. So let's go out to the left of it because we want one piece to go to the top and one to go to the bottom, you know? So now we undock here. Control this. Break this off. Clear debris. And then go dock this up right here. Uh, yeah, looking good. Nice, nice. Okay. And then section two. Break off here. It's just the final piece. You guys ready? Final piece of the ISS is being put in right now. All right, here we go. Here we go. And... Nice. That was very, very smooth. All right, here's our ISS. What do you guys rate it out of 10? Ignore the missing solar panels. Imagine that all the solar panels are there. Rate it out of 10 on accuracy. Oh, I guess, here, open these two. I'm just gonna clip in the other ones. It's okay. There. Just imagine it's 3D, too, because we don't have three dimensions. We have two. 10, 7, 8, 6.9, 9, 10. If all solar panels are there, 10 out of 10. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, we're running a we're running a poll. Oh, out of five. I thought I thought it was out of ten, and the max you could do is five out of five. Yeah, Evan Rate. We are in orbit at the correct height, too. So does that add to the score? We're 400 kilometers above the surface, and we did it in realistic mode. Two people voted one out of five. Can you ban those two? Can you see who did it and ban them? No, no. <laughs> All right, let's uh, deorbit it. We're dropping our PE now using RCS. There should be enough fuel in here to do this. We just want it to barely hit atmosphere and then we'll time warp to right before it enters. Getting close to the atmosphere. Just barely, barely going in. We'll see what happens. It, nothing might even happen, except maybe it slows down a little bit. Yeah, we're touching atmosphere. Nothing. Oh, we're starting to burn. Oh. We just locked onto the pod. Well, there it goes. Burning up. Yep. Not good. Do you think this survives? Yeah. Yeah, it survived. That's funny. There's no parachute in it, though. 07's in chat for the ISS. Run a prediction. Does the pod survive? 60-40. Let's see. Most people thought no. I think yes. Here's the ground. And... Oh, I knew the docking port would save it, dude. <laughs> we got the challenges unlocked. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you all soon. We'll do some more Space Flight Simulator. 